this video, I'm going to show you how to export audio only from Adobe Premiere Pro. So I've got a podcast interview that I finished editing. I'd already uploaded the video and everything to YouTube. However, I also wanted to just extract the audio so I could upload it to Spotify and iTunes and whatnot. So in order to do that, I can just go to File, Export, Media, just like when you traditionally export. And normally you'd be in a mode like H.264 format and you'd see your, your typical export settings screen. If you want, I have a full tutorial on how to use this export settings screen, but basically you just use one of these presets, such as YouTube 1080p, you get your video and your audio. However, if you wanted to export just into an audio format, you can drop down the format menu and you have a couple different ones to choose from, such as AAC audio, MP3, or even waveform audio. So there's differences between the compression and formats of .wave or .mp3 or AAC, um, which I won't really get into. And I guess it's not really that important if you're just uploading um, just for a standard, you know, MP3 works fine in my case, but look into the differences if you have a very specific need of compression or format. And when you choose one of these audio formats, uh, they also might have a couple different presets. So I can choose high quality if I want, and that will just change the file size and the compression a bit. But essentially, it's the same as exporting a video. You just name it, um, whatever you want, and then you can choose where, so desktop or whatever folder you want. It'll tell you the estimated file size. You also have a couple other options on the audio settings, and also if you click here, the metadata, such as, you know, if you want certain things to automatically populate within the file when it loads into iTunes or something um, like the author or the copyright date or the website. But all of that, those extra steps aside, as also you can export the entire sequence or you can choose an in and out point just to export one bit. But, you know, typically you probably want to export the whole thing. And then from there, you can either send it to the queue in the media encoder if you want to export multiple things at once or you could just export it straight to wherever you output it to. So I'll click export. It'll export into an MP3 file. It should be pretty fast because it's, it's no video, just audio. And then you'll have your MP3 file or whatever audio format you chose ready to use however you want. If you want more tutorials on my channel on how to export video, the difference between Q and export more in depth explained or hundreds of more tutorials on these Adobe softwares, then check out my playlist on my channel. Subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Justin Odisho, and I'll see you in the next video.